20s, so I'm good. No matter what a stripper tells you, there's no sex in the champagne room. Jesus Christ. Yeah, we're doing this, folks. <laughs> hey, it's Saturday yeah. night. <laughs> Welcome to Murder Hobo Inc. on Live, the campaign edition. Probably the last episode for the campaign because I am in perfect firing position to kill each and every one of these sons of because they are driving me nuts. Uh, folks, uh, welcome again. If it's first time joining us, thank you. If uh, you're a repeat customer, uh, make sure you let your psychotherapist know that you're a glutton for punishment. We're cool with that. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. There's no link tonight because Carol showed up. So uh, tinyurl.com slash RPG swag for some really cool swag get a duvet cover you know whatever a duvet uh, cover. folks uh, I have a duvet. <laughs> there you go I, we we can cover it uh <laughs> folks tonight is the campaign edition we've got our four solids and our reoccurring alternate carol uh let's go ahead and get to the introductions and then i'll go ahead and fill you in on the details uh so kind that you're calling me a solid still <laughs> I'm, I'm really you, crying you've now. always been a solid number two guy <laughs> uh we'll start uh, on my screen Ernest. Ernest, tell us who you are tell us who you're playing please uh so my character is lucas he is a wood elf anti-druid and uh my goal in this episode is to uh not get killed with the rest of the party i want to keep this campaign going uh, Frank has incentivized me with that fact. <laughs> uh, you're so naive. Uh, also with us is everybody's favorite bird brain, Moniz. Chris, Chris, tell us about yourself. Tell us who you're playing. Uh, my name is Chris. I'm a mini painter. I stream on Twitch as well. Uh, I am playing Moniz, an Eric Hawker cleric that usually gets... KO'd within the first 15 minutes of our, our wonderful streams. Though the last time, two streams, I think uh, it was uh, an hour or so in before I got KO'd. So Frank's slipping. So we'll see what happens tonight. I called him out, so I'll probably die. <laughs> the war elephant stomps the shit out of you. Uh, don't tell us uh, what uh, what time and when your mini painting show is. Um, for right now, we're only on weekends due to work scheduling problems um but that's life uh we are streaming tomorrow at noon eastern on cg mini painting very good uh kyle you're up next who are you who are you playing hi i'm kyle i am uh one of the old solid uh, uh campaigners number two yeah that's right <laughs> Uh, uh, lately, you catch me playing the one shots and uh, hosting this amazing sideshow called Between the Rolls, where I come up with these amazing ideas and I talk to some okay DMs. There's actually at least two, sometimes, sometimes three. If I kill us, Mike, kill the mic now, kill the mic. <laughs> Uh, but I have lucked out. I am living indoors now, streaming indoors. It's amazing. I'm warm. Uh, and tonight I will be reprising my role of Dewey, the prison hardened lie barbarian. Did that change something about Dewey? Oh, yes. We'll see. Dewey's been changed emotionally. Dewey's all tatted up now and not with quality ink. Oh. Shit ink. <laughs> Uh, Blake, you're up next. Who are you? Who are you playing? Uh, first of all, I want to thank the ASPCA proof that you can find any stray dog a forever home, do we? <laughs> I went over my head, I'll be honest. Stand so you up. Said you, were, you, were, you were living indoors. You were nice and warm. You found your forever oh, home. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Uh, I am Blake. <laughs> and who are you playing? Uh, right now? Right now, I'm Anastasia Beaverhausen. The, uh, <laughs> the teasing warlock. But normally I'm Perpetua. And she's going to probably show back up at some point. <laughs> yeah, don't bet the rent on it. <laughs> Last but certainly not least, uh, our fill-in semi-permanent, translucent, transparent, 
vote for her in 2020, Carol. Carol, who are you and who are you playing? Oh, as he said. Everybody I... interrupt her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. I am Carol. I am also a mini painter, although I don't stream. I just don't have time. Um, but I also, uh, I'm a longtime gamer and uh, finally here, hopefully, to extricate my character out of this plot line that will never, you shaking his head, never it's end. The plot line that never I, I, I'm ends. I'm fine with going down Go as long under as the bus again. <laughs> yeah, so that's, and I, I played Taryn, the with Elf Bard, who is perpetually finds herself being thrown under the bus by these guys here. You know, she tries I to think, explain I, herself, but no matter what. <laughs> I think the thing of it is, I'm a scribe. But we'll to, keep throwing her under the bus we ever, just because this is the plot line that never ends. I think the thing of it is, I'm, I'm on the uh, keep your enemies closer uh, train with these guys, because I'm yeah. not. Justification for terrible deeds. <laughs> I'm going to try not to do terrible deeds, but uh, yeah, taking out some of those dwarves before probably wasn't exactly a cool thing to do. But it was them or me, so self-defense. Except it wasn't because I didn't have to kill any of them. You okay, folks. Dwarves? You yeah. monster. If you've slept since the last episode... And I'm I betting you have. Uh, let's do yeah. a long-winded bullshit recap of what these morons have been up to. <coughs> long story short, they cleared out. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is a short story long. Go ahead now. Nice. They cleared I'm out. I'm going to interrupt you a few and, times, just so you know. I, You know what? I can mute you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mute my. <laughs> so uh, they cleared out a mining problem at Fink Mines. They have returned to the village of Fink because, as Ernie has pointed out, they are heroes. They have <laughs> run rodshod over the countryside. And now they are in Fink Meadows where all of their accusers seem to have coalesced. Uh, there is also a poker tournament in town with a shitload of NPCs arriving. Uh, the group is completely fractured. Uh, Carol went ahead and threw herself and Dewey under the bus by hey, 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 hey. she was the ringleader in the plot to kill Joey Tribbiani, our uh, private know? first class guard who ended up with a shield in his head courtesy of uh, Perpetua in the mines. Uh, Lucas and Moniz fled to Fink. Uh, only to run into people who would like to see them fucking dead. Folks, mature audiences only. Uh, Carol, or I'm sorry, uh, Taryn and Dewey uh, left the mine, stumbled upon the dead Joey Tribbiani, got blamed. Carol took credit for all of it because... I She's it's in charge. Totally By it's God, she bad. is in charge. Uh, yeah. And she and Dewey were taken into custody. Carol was not thrown in chains. Dewey was thrown in chains by the party's nemesis. Thanks, Carol. Lord hey, Beauregard Buford Bushmill, the warrior who got lightning bolted by Lucas, kicked in the face almost by Meniz. Uh... <laughs> He broke into our house. I didn't attack him. I didn't attack him. He attacked me. And the only one he kind of likes is Louis. You know what? If you rewatch the fucking episode. I did. And I told you. I didn't attack him. I growled at the fact. Clearly right there. Fuck Perpetua is what that says right there. That's I like the fact that the one he likes is in chains. What's going to happen to the other three? <laughs> well, if he can catch. Also, Dewey has thrown Perpetua under the bus yep. for killing uh, Lord uh, Bushmill's son. When, mm -hmm. in fact, we I believe we have determined that it was Perpetua that actually killed the fat ass. So, uh, not, not yes, on sir, he, had, he had ample opportunity to surrender. I was not involved in that situation. 
whatever. You know, last, but- so last week, Carol and Dewey, neither one could attend. Uh, they were placed in chain slash jail. Carol is a guest. Dewey is incarcerated. We brought in Q, the, uh, well, you didn't know, but he was part monk, part ranger, uh, with his mighty war elephant in town for the poker tournament, which nobody had any fucking clue about, including the DM, because he just yanked it right out of his ass. Uh, but he's and Lucas spent most of the day running from guards and people who knew who they were, except for Manise, who tried to some reason steal the fucking war elephant and got the shit pushed in. Which brings us to Dewey again, who's still in jail. <laughs> uh, Blake, Perpetua, Anastasia, uh, D.B. Cooper, whoever the hell Blake's playing tonight is, has entered the poker tournament and for some reason is under the fucking impression that he's going to win. The only problem is all these ding-dongs, except for Dewey and Carol, went to the strip club the night before met Shasta, Cola, and... Fanta. Was it? It was, it was, it was, it was Coke, 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 Pepsi, and Sprite or something it like It was that. Cola, yeah. Sprite, and... Coke. Coke. Pepsi. Coca. Oh, okay. So, uh, oh, that's right, three, because they said it should have been 7 up. Three more NPCs, right. along with Q, who befriended Lord Bushmill, uh, thereby furthering the problem. Uh, and, one and, person- and, and, and I would like to remind everyone that those that those uh, soda brands are associates of the thieving halflings that tried to steal our box. I was getting to that. <laughs> uh, Lord Bushmill has come with an easy fr- uneasy friendship with Q a.k.a. Jesse, who is not with us. Uh, Fenestra, who is also not with us, uh, is here. They haven't seen her yet, but she's going to play a role tonight. Uh, one I'm, of aw- these- I'm aware that she's in town. You haven't seen her yet, have I you? Was told, I was told when I went to the magistrate. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's right. Yes, you were. Uh, the three NPCs, one of them is somehow possibly maybe – related in a roundabout way to the three halflings that this group murdered, murdered on the road for no valid reason. Did not murder. I believe you murdered them on the advice of Carol. I, I did not. I was. No, I no. did not. Well, know. yeah, I I the advice on the demand, the threat of death. Everybody of raise Carol. your hand if you think Carol ordered that hit. Naturally. You're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Carol's <laughs> fucked. <laughs> You're going down for this one there. Well, yeah. So, with that being said, they went to the strip club, got into a fight with, I don't know, Minerva's military or Medusa something, uh, a bunch of ladies who flagellate Ming, Ming, them. The, uh, Ming the Merciless. Ming, that's right. The cult of Ming. Uh, one of them was a Medusa. A big fight. Uh, Perpetua fortunately saved Lucas's ass by dimensioning door out of there, leaving Manise completely naked and uncovered, which brings us back to Dewey, who's still in the prison cell, <laughs> all tatted up. Uh, Manise, however, was Attica, in- Attica, Attica. Attica? Attica. It's Attica. Yeah. Watch I the like movie. the movie Gattaca. <laughs> Jesus. Ethan Hawke, clones. I, I, I love Duma Thurman, yeah. Killers right? Life. Great movie. Watched it in biology every year. Uh, this is the, this is the shit I have to deal with, folks. So <laughs> what we're going to do is we have Manise alone, Lucas and Perpetua together, Taryn and Dewey together. So we're going to start with Manise. Manise, as the fight starts to wind down with Q killing the last uh, follower of Ming the Merciless flagellate, whatever, uh, you notice that Lord Bushmill has spotted you and you high feather it out the front door. Oh, didn't you shoot, Bush- shoot Bushmill in the head with the crossbow? Accidentally. Accidentally. Oh, uh, yeah. No, That's yeah. not how he sees it. So we're going to start tonight with Manise. Manise, you are fleeing outside of Jake's <laughs> Bar and Grill or something like that. I don't know. You're you're fleeing the strip club. Would you like to go left, or would you like to go right? Uh, I will go with option three. I will go up. <laughs> Into the darkness you go. Do you have the map of the town up, Frank? 
<clears throat> I do not have the map of the town up on the screen. Oh, geez, yeah. What do I do with that one? So I don't have it either. Um, I, I can go up, right? I can fly. You can go up because you now have your wings. I will fly away at 50 feet. <laughs> but, folks, since this is just going to be a giant clusterfuck, give me a few minutes to make sure that everybody has their shit. Uh, who am I forgetting? There and Kyle. Uh, right. Blake, you got any jokes you can tell while I'm doing this? I, I just posted the map into the chat. Thank uh, you. No. I can. Uh, I, there it is. Myself. I was I, at. I, I'm reminded of this one time that I. Uh, uh, no, no, no. That's that's too body for this show. Right. <laughs> that's what. That's what it is. You're kidding, right? So, Manise, you go up. Give me a uh, stealth roll, baby cakes. Stealth roll. Because this place is lit up like Santa Claus. Uh, stealth, stealth, stealth. Where is my stealth? Plus four. Ooh. Uh, so that'll be an 18. You go up. Uh, you notice that your height allows you a decent view of the city below. Large bonfires have been set uh, to warm the people who could not get rooms since Perpetual bought out almost one entire inn, being a dick. Uh, give don't, me know, don't know which room we're in. It's perfect camouflage. Lucas has no idea what room he's in. Uh, Maniz, now give me a perception check at disadvantage. Aw. Not fair. It's about to get worse. Uh, perception at disadvantage. Where to go? So that'll be a 14. Easily passes. You hear the whoosh of leathery wings that you have heard before in your life. Ah, oh, fuck the dragon. <laughs> Is it Pete? <laughs> it might be or Pete. Puff. Or Puff. <laughs> you better hope it's Puff. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you see that, or you hear the noise uh, to your nine o'clock. I will go back down. Behind uh, some buildings, probably a good idea, though. That's fair. Do you want to go behind uh, the gambling hall? Yes. That's fair enough. Uh, let's move over to Lucas and Perpetua. Lucas, you find yourself in a rather decent in-room uh, after being manhandled slash touched by Perpetua. You have no idea where you're at. You have no idea where Maniz is. And you're puzzled because whoever this chick is... In no, a no, he, he, know, he knows it's me. I messaged him. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Uh, I didn't resist when Perpetua grabbed me. He knows that Anastasia Beaverhausen is his close confidant, Perpetua. Perpetua, would you like to tell him where he's at or fuck him? Uh, fuck me. Okay. <laughs> we spend the next uh, three hours in uh, unbridled coitus. Uh, continue with the game. Performance roles. <laughs> <laughs> At advantage, of course. I'm yeah. Yeah. No idea. Do I do I get percent? Uh, do I get advantage for faking it? How about I roll? I will make Lucas yellow and no, no, no. I, I, don't have, red. I, I, I don't have I don't have genitals. It doesn't work. Well, here you go, folks. Uh, Perpetua is red. I still don't have genitals, so you're gonna try and fuck a hole. You in got that. a two. You got a two. <laughs> and what I get? An eleven. Woo! At best, you're a mediocre lover. At worst, you're still better than Perpetua. Better than uh, So, are you guys going to go to sleep? Uh, no, well, no. I'm going to explain that his room is actually down the hall. Uh, 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 oh, uh, that's the uh, do it and get out. Hit it and quit it. No, canonically, I did not fuck the, the druid. I want to make that perfectly clear. Oh. Was there... I, I mean, yeah, I might have. I don't, I don't think the camera have, can catch I'm, that motion. No, 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 I'm saving the handy J's for when I want people to go to sleep. There you go, uh, Lucas. He, uh, she points out your room is down the hall. Get the fuck out. 
Thank and, you. and I'll give him one of the keys because I'm assuming I got keys or some kind of way to identify. They have a little plastic card that you just hover over. It's a magical <laughs> device. It's yeah, okay. So I, I give you the the the, uh, the 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 plastique of magic. There you go. Got it. Thank you. I go to my room. Okay, fair enough. Maniz, you are behind uh, a group of buildings. Uh, Lucas, Perpetua, you are calling it an evening. No, I'm not. I'm not calling it an evening. I want to go out. And, I want to essentially go and continue to gather information for this tournament. Oh, okay, that's fair. Uh, it's about nine o'clock. Yeah, so I'm assuming that would be when I could continue to go get some experience and uh, stake out the competition. Yes, you can do that. Although uh, it's a pretty big tournament, so a lot of your competition is going to head to bed early. Well, I that's perfectly fine. I'm. I'm are you Are you going to stay? What, what, what time, what time does house? it start? Would I, would I Would I have been informed of what time it starts at registration? Ah, uh, yes, ten a.m. Okay, so there I can. Are I, one, two, three, get, four flights. There are thirty-two participants. There oh, are yeah. four players at each table. There are four rounds. Uh, the third round, the top two players uh, of each table go Wait, to the final. Yeah, okay. It kind of looks like that. So, I, so I got about so re reasonably get up in time. I got three or four good hours of uh, information gathering. That's fine. Uh, which uh, section of the city do you want to go to? Okay. Well, I believe. Uh, we are just north, or, or where, where, which, uh, which building was the strip of the titty bar? Uh, six. Uh, the, the six below six, my inn? Six bottom right. The, okay, the six by my inn. So I'm going to go to the six at the top left, then, because I think I've already been to the six. Uh, I, I've already staked out the, the bottom six. Correct. Uh, six bottom right is going to be closed. Okay, that's fine anyways. So I'm going... Not top. to Barbarella, it's not. She's pissed. So you're going to go six high left. Yeah. Fair enough. Dewey, Terran! Yo. Let's see what you should roll for me. What we want? Don't be snoring really loudly. I can't hear what we're doing. That's okay. If he snores too loudly, one of his cellmates will go ahead and... Stab Dag him. him. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say face I was gonna say Facebook, but that's fine. <laughs> Let's uh do you want to intimidate people to stay away from you or do you want to try and get along? Uh start with uh Taryn. Uh my case probably try to get along. I don't yeah, I'm not uh, as good as hardened murderer says. They're, they're going to go ahead and keep you in the female section, which is conveniently right next to the male section with bars. Uh, feminists, don't send me messages. Uh, so I am Fucking in a... Man. So you can, so you can, so you can still give a tug job through the, uh, through the bars. Thank you. So, yes, that would so be So I it. am in a cell. Oh. You are in a cell, but you are a guest. <laughs> I don't, I don't, do I have my stuff or not? Oh, no. No, fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're the mastermind there, uh, Taryn. <laughs> yeah, no. Gosh, come on, Taryn. Yeah, I get, yeah, I get it. Uh, so you get to persuade okay. other people in your cell to leave you alone. Yep. Go ahead and give me a persuasion roll. Oh, oh, oh. persuasion. That is 13. That's not a good roll. Yeah, we'll That's see. So well, you think I do better than this. We'll see how the night plays out. Do we uh, get along or intimidate? Uh, gosh, it's a negative two. Whatever I roll, so. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Any intimidation skills? I shit you. <laughs> 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 so negative two brings that to a zero, correct? Yes. <laughs> okay. At some point in time during the evening, you wake up to find your hair braided and a tattoo down the back that says exit or entrance. <laughs> wait, are we so wait, wait, trigger, trigger warning prison rape? <laughs> no, no. He's got a tattoo. <laughs> Like, Wait, it's on his back? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Can I see what's going on there? Oh, yeah, everybody can see. That hairy dwarf ass is tucked up, and the guy is 
freaking Michael micro Michael Angeloing that shit. Ooh, a lot of scroll work and shit like that. But he's sleeping and he's at a zero on doing jack shit. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, is there any way I could persuade him not to do that? Yo, not with a zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think you I know could- what. Make a roll. Let's see how badly you botch this, because I'm about to turn Dewey uh, into a me character from the Nintendo. I don't botch it. I roll a 17. That's a 27, sucker. No extra eyebrows for you, Dewey, and they uh, unbraid your hair, but they cannot untattoo your ass. Manise, give me a perception or an insight check this time. Uh, Normal. Insight. That'll be 18. You see Anastasia Beaverhausen crossing the well-lit plaza. I did not message him who I was. Oh. You don't see a person. (laughs) He would recognize me from the fight. Yeah, you see, well, he's going to recognize several people. As you come to a descent there, Superman, you hear... uh, you hear the sounds of booted feet running north. North. Am I close to any of the inns? You are behind number two on the far right side. I, I would have I would have left word with Ernie in the spare key. Oh, okay, that's great. He ain't gonna find that shit. Yeah. <laughs> so mm. you hear some kind of commotion at the point at three. Okay, so I'll go towards the gambling halls. I'll make my way away from the commotion. So you want to go back to where Barbarella was or go all the way across Plaza slash military camp? Oh, I'm on that end. Yeah, you're on the far right. Do I need a chance to spot him? No. Okay. Because it's dark and he's he's descending. Uh, I have my my night vision. Uh Uh-huh. Okay. No, I don't want to go by the plaza. I think I'll just hang back and see what happens. Okay. There's a hobo uh, behind two there on the far right that uh, sees you and asks you if you are Jeebus Crisp. I am not. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is not Rutger Hauer. Hobo if they ask you if you're a god, you always say, say yes. Yes. Come on, Ray. Uh, Okay. The guy offers you a drink from his jug. Accept it. Hold on a Uh, second. A guy offers you a sip from his jug. (laughs) Hold on. Let's... Oh, I don't have my D2. Um, (laughs) Let's see. Fuck it. Let's drink it. (laughs) <laughs> I see drunk bird. What what did you roll, Otter? I rolled a five. Okay, so an odd. Well, good news. It's urine. <laughs> oh, God. It's actually but, not but, urine. I would not do that to you. That but, but, is, but it's perfectly good urine. It, it, it is <laughs> it's tobacco. that perfectly hydrated urine. <laughs> it's his tobacco <laughs> juice. It is his spit cup. Oh, you drink spit. Give me a uh, constitution save, please. All right. Please vomit all over him. Oh, oh, I rolled a one. I'm definitely puking all over him. Yep. You are. <laughs> you are ill. Uh, <laughs> Lucas, you are asleep. Perpetua, you reach the gambling hall. This one is called the Lucky Strike. Oh, I hope I can find some unfiltered cigarettes. <laughs> there is a tobacco girl. Hello, uh, I, my lady. Uh, I, I actually, I do want to. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll slip her a couple gold and say if she, and ask her if she's seen anything uh, interesting this evening. No. Uh, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> it was quick. Yep. I'll slip her a couple more gold and whatever whatever weed she's got, I'll take a I'll take a pack. Uh, D twelve against me. Okay. Eleven. Uh, twelve. Uh, well, she has okay weed. Okay. Yeah. 
I'm not going to, I'm just going to hold it. I think Lucas likes to burn things. Yes, he does. Yes, everything nice so far. Now, uh, yeah. Perpetua, you would have noticed the large war elephant in the plaza. I, I know. I was almost trampled by it when I when he first actually. A- actually, no, you would not because it's down by five and three. But, but no, I was I was trampled by it when, or almost trampled by it when it arrived. So I, I'm Correct. aware that it's in town. So inside the Lucky Strike, you see two people that you recognize from the other gambling hall, and a multitude of people that you do not recognize at this time. Uh, which ones that I recognize? The tiefling, the, the tiefling, no. and the uh, not the lightfoot halfling, but the dragonborn, the silver dragonborn. Okay. The two of the three that were in front of you at uh, sign in registration. Sign in, yeah, yeah. I, I'll I'll con- I'll keep <laughs> them a, a fairly wide berth, and I, I'll continue to uh, scout other competitors. Okay. Uh, there are a plethora here. It looks like they've gotten rid of all the other games of chance. Everybody is practicing poker for a fee. Okay. I'm more than half. Fees are nothing to me. 10 gold pieces. Okay. So what is that? I'll, I'll, I'll say that I slipped five and five to the cigarette girl. So I'm down 20, still got like 300 something. There are five tables that you can practice your trade on. Table number two is the home of the Silver Dragonborn and the Tieflings. Uh, hang on, which one, which one of these? Is? Uh, I'm going to one. Fair enough. There are only two players. They're looking for one more, and you hear a deep, dark voice that sounds fairly reminiscent. Q has entered the building and sits down next to you. Okay. He looks at you but gives you no notice. You are ready to practice. Indeed I am. Uh, there, once you pay your sign-in fee, games are unlimited. You can go ahead and do insight rolls against the other four players at your table, or you can switch tables. Uh, no, I'll continue to insight. What's the fee? You already paid 10 gold pieces. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, net 20 and an 18, so... And then another 18 and a 16, and those are all plus six. Okay. Uh, you notice tells on one and two. You notice no tells on number four. Four being Jesse. Mm-hmm. Jesse's a good player. However, Q seems to be losing. Okay. A lot. I, I am going to assume that that's intentional. Just... Just as a just as a player note, uh, okay. So I I will uh, I, I have no. I, I would also like to throw some hands. Fair. Do I need a deception or something, or what do sure. I need? For that? Yep, deception. Uh, deception twenty six. Fair enough. Uh, you play for a couple hours. Mani is back to you since Dewey's being tatted up and Taryn's keeping her soulmates at bay. Uh, you vomited all over Hobo with a wand. What would you like to do? Um, to key, da, 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 da. I will use inflicting wounds on him. Because I'm now upset. <laughs> okay. Valid response. Go ahead and hit the <laughs> murder hobo. Go ahead. Murder and hit the, the hobo. <laughs> uh, agreed. Agreed. Murder the hobo. It I is. Uh, I rolled a twenty-three guy. to hit. Oh, that hits. <laughs> I, I would hope so. Uh, yeah. So if it, if is... it did, you'd be fucked. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dragon. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, well, there is a dragon be... around here. That'll be 17 necrotic damage. Huh. Uh, they wither up and die. Oh, oh I thought it was going to be... Oh, he, he doesn't seem to take notice. <laughs> it's a Uh-oh. wraith. But he <laughs> kills a hobo. <laughs> wow. What's the name of the game? What's the name of this podcast, by the way? Oh, yeah. yeah murder. Uh, uh, Blake, Blake plays poker. Uh, <laughs> he's... D12 against me, please. Let's see if the oh. fuzz is around. Fuck the fuzz. 10. Uh-oh. 11. Uh, 
as you watch the corpse shrivel up and turn to dust, a cadre of guards hustles its way down along the stockade fence towards the north. Uh, Maniz, you were there. You can probably figure out that they're there for Blanche Devereaux's body. <laughs> I forgot who about killed that. Blanche? I murdered her. <laughs> oh, okay, that's who it was. <laughs> I I could remember. Oh, yes, yes, you did a Grand Theft Auto 5. That, or Grand Theft Auto style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it was the pink. Yeah, I remember yeah, this. Theft of, serv theft of services. <laughs> Dewey, Terran, guards come in and poke you angrily. What? I I'm sorry, my tent. <laughs> you, you feel a lot of pain in your lower back, but you what? can't figure it out unless Terran tells you. Again, hi, highly intelligent. I think I would know that I've been tatted. And everyone in that room is dead now, by the way. <laughs> you rage. Uh, you have been told that the magistrate is going to hear your case oh, at 10 o'clock in the morning. Oh. And you need okay. to be ready. Do you have any witnesses you wish to call? There's this changeling, there's a bird man, and there's a moon. Uh, elf. We can vouch for each other. I mean, we didn't do it. Yeah, sure, Trump. <laughs> <laughs> what evidence do you have to say that we did? I believe you took credit for everything. No, I absolutely did not. I just took credit for putting this expedition to the pajamas. Ringleader. Credit for being the ringleader. <laughs> That's right. And Nothing happens credit. without my say so. <laughs> What was it now? Shooting Jesus? I think that's how you put it two weeks ago. I, I did not take credit for killing anyone. I just... Hands. I have a good persuasion check if I roll freaking well. And yes. uh, I basically was trying to put myself in a position to talk our way out of it. Yeah. And where okay. are you? How'd that work? <laughs> Well, I if you time. forget she hasn't played with you that often enough, Frank, to know that there's no point in actually talking to the P NPCs. That's, that is a gross <laughs> miscalculation that is at least 90% accurate. Yeah, well, I'm gonna, I said, I'm going to stand by my good persuasion check. So, Can I uh, ask the guards for my silk pajamas if we're going to be staying here overnight? Sure, you can ask. Can I have my pajamas, pajamas, please? D12 against me? Yeah, I don't have a D12, you son of a bitch. D20, <laughs> D20 against me. No, no, don't worry. I'll pull up the D12. Blank. D12. Mm -hmm. Ten. Nine. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. They can only find the bottoms, though. That's fine. I'm going to Shanghai noon my way out of here. That's <laughs> 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 Maybe I should turn into a horse and just rip the wall off. <laughs> the snot-filled PJ bottoms are yours. Go yeah. ahead there, Shanghai Noon. I urinate on them, and then I put them on the bars, and I twist the bars until I can escape. Oh, seriously. I wait you know, for the guards to leave first, though. You're underground. So? Okay. Gonna, there are no bars to the outside. You're leaving me there. Well, not to the outside. I'll go further <laughs> inside to get out. In, that's fair. Uh, so before they leave, do you have anybody that they need to obtain in order to give uh, some kind of character reference to you? I did describe uh, all three people. Yes. Except for did. the changeling, who hey. obviously is going to look different. Yeah, you did did you have anyone? I suppose we can make a statement now. No, they don't care. You will be seen, Lord Bushmill, Master Fink, and a cleric. Lord Bushmill. The I cleric. Bet it's the, bet it's the cleric from. I bet it's the cleric that was supposed to marry uh, Lady Fucking What's Her Tits. I thought they all. It, got, oh, it, no, they it, it is the cleric from Jabroni's cult. This cult. Oh, so it's cult? so it's the the Iron Sheik. For those of you who aren't f fond of Bobby the Brain Heenan, you might be onto something. <clears throat> Moving on, uh, Perpetua, 
You've done all the legwork that you can. Uh, Q uh, leaves shortly thereafter, moves to another table, uh, plays a couple hands there, and then excuses himself to go to his room. Uh, Maniz, what are you doing? I am... After literally murder hoboing. <laughs> go find um, more hobos. Clean out the city. <laughs> I'm a vigilante. <laughs> the odds of him actually killing anybody of repute is probably only 80%. Put bat ears on, hang upside down, you got it. <laughs> You're a hobo! You're a hobo! <laughs> <laughs> You gotta um, hold him up. You're a hobo. <laughs> I'm Batman. <laughs> um, Sooner or later, you're gonna to... meet a guy who doesn't have a plan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to find my way. Start looking for your, for the rest of the gang. Try to find people I know. Well, you know where two of us are. You well, want to go there? Jesus, Jesus! I can't believe you wrote that. <laughs> Oh, I love PMs, folks. Uh, I'm sorry, Maniz. What did you say? I'm going to try to find the rest of the group. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good luck. Uh, where are you going to look? Well, I would remember the last person I saw was Lucas. Yep. And we were... I'm trying to remember where we were. The last you saw... Us, you, were, you were at Barbarella's. You were at the... the, the <laughs> Saddle. I'll make my way back towards the like the inn's gambling hall area. All right. Well, there's three high uh, where Blanche Devereaux's dead and three low, uh, which is near the magistrate's office as well as Fink, where you met the bronze-colored woman who recognized you. So pick your poison. Um, let's go. I'm up on the right-hand side, right? Correct. Very close to Blanche Devereaux's final thoughts. In the pig pen, right? In the pig sty. <laughs> um, I will stealthily make my way around to, uh, I'm guessing, well, the six, <coughs> two, like where the two is on top of the six there on the right hand side. Yeah. I'll Good go point. towards that area. So you're going to circle back around and make the U to get into the front of that lane. Yeah. Okay. At six, you discover several guards saying, move along, move along. You aren't I the keep, droids we're looking for. I just keep moving along. Uh, then you come to a tavern where you were drinking before, right? With the guards? Or was that Lucas? No. I th that was you, I think. Well, I think it was the both of us, no? Well, one of you made fast friends with the guards. Was that, that was you, me. Lucas, or was that Manise? No, it wasn't me. I thought that was Perpetua. Yeah. That was no, I, I was drinking with them outside of yeah. the wall. I think it was Maniz. Maniz, that was the bar that you showed up at. And uh who was it? It was the other guard, uh the corporal, uh, who knew you uh was there. He's not there anymore, but the bar's still open. I'll go into the bar. Okay. Figure I'll run into one of these people eventually. Oh, you are one of ten customers still present. Works for me. Okay. I will I will go order up a beverage. Fair enough. Uh Perpetua. Go ahead. What do you want to do? Uh so closing up for the night. In in addition to what I messaged you, I'm going Correct. to uh oh. So the gambling hall's done. What about what time is it? How long has it been? A couple hours? Yep, about uh, one o'clock in the morning. About one o'clock. Okay. Yep. I'll have. I, I want a nightcap, and then I'm going to go and uh, uh, take take a take a rest. Yeah. I want to explore now. I've had a long rest. No, you haven't. You've been asleep for three hours. It, nine to one. It's four hours. Yeah, he's an elf. He oh, only needs it. four hours. <clears throat> Uh, Lucas, you can leave. Uh, you have your key. You still don't know where the fuck you're at. You just know where your room's at. When you walk out, 
you will realize that you are very close to the dead and probably starting to decompose body of Blanche Devereaux, uh, whom you so unceremoniously. I thought, pigs, I thought the pigsties were in the north. They are. Aren't you guys in three? We're, high- we're in the we're, we're in the in the one above the bottom six. Oh, okay. I got you. Uh, so yes, uh, Lucas, you find the giant war elephant. Um, is anyone watching the war elephant right now? Uh, the stable boy, who's already been stomped once. Oh. Um, I want to silently watch until the stable boy is not watching the elephant. He'll be there all night long. That's his only he job. Won't, he won't doze off on accident. He won't step out to take a piss. He might doze off. He's going to accidentally cast sleep on themselves. Well, <laughs> uh, I actually have this spell that I have that I want to use to get rid of the elephant. Oh, this should be interesting. <laughs> and then I want to take the elephant with me and throw it over the wall. <laughs> you can give it a shot. I'll say he goes, uh, well, he's not going to go out to take a piss because he's the stable boy. Uh, I will say he dozes off for a few moments. Cool. When he does that, I want to try and cast polymorph on the elephant to turn it into like a turtle or something, like a little turtle. What do I need? Never mind. That's a 19. Um, unwilling creature must make a wisdom saving throw. Yeah, DC 15. 19. All right, I fail. So, um, I don't think that really does anything negative if I fail. Probably pisses him off. Mm. Is he smart enough to know? Does, yeah, does, does he have the intelligence to understand what happened? Yeah. Probably not. Okay. Well, that, that sucks. So, instead, um... <laughs> that was a good idea. Since that failed, um, hmm. <coughs> what else can I do to this elephant? Uh, <laughs> give me an insight check. Okay. Yo, Thomas Edison, lightning bolt the fucker. Yeah. I was thinking that. Uh, so I just got a modified. Toilet. That's Nikola Tesla. Come on. Uh, you notice that he is not chained up or secured in any fashion. Oh, man. Um, well, I want to make sure I'm out of um, the way of the elephant, and I'm going to definitely lightning bolt its butt. Uh, <laughs> give me a D4 roll. D4? Yep. Uh, to, to see if I hit? or No, ignore four. You will either we're, be... We're, are, we, are we determining if this is AC or DC? Nope. Uh, you are east of it, so you are closer to three when you cast your lightning bolt. What's it need to save? Um, dexterity save. 16 uh, plus 2, 18. Oh, fuck. So failed. So half, half damage. On 86. So huh? you, give me one second. All right. Look at that. He wants it to do, I'll bet. All right. So that is 6 plus 5. Was that 11? 13? 15? 16, 17, 18, 24, another 6, 30, so half. So 50 <coughs> lightning damage against that elephant. You are at 2, correct? I thought I was on the 3 side. I don't, oh, I rolled a 2 on the d4, yeah. Yeah. If this is a 2, you best prepare for battle, because that motherfucker is going to go ape shit. Oh, that's fine. Uno! It rolls into the plaza and military camp and begins to create havoc. I am going to now disappear and hide somewhere else. I'm going to flee the scene of the crime. Shocking. (laughs) Uh, You watch as it stomps the shit out of preparations for the poker tournament. (laughs) You Uh, then see a... You know what? You see a naked individual run across the plaza and get the creature calmed down. <clears throat> oh, this naked individual. Hmm. Is this K? Q. Q. <laughs> Close. <laughs> M. I don't know. Uh, Why is he naked? Oh, it's later. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's he, what he, Jesse he always does. Jesse <laughs> sleeps naked. All the time. No, no, that's fine. But I was Never like, seen him play a character that doesn't. <laughs> I thought he was, that's right, it's later, later, later on, not 
he's not still playing poker. Yeah, no, he, he was the first one to wrap up at the tables. He'd be, okay. maybe, although if it was strip poker, maybe that would be possible. Well, that's how we were playing without any money. <laughs> He's, he's not playing a bard this time, so it's not strip poker. Uh, Lucas, you also noticed that the military is highly pissed. I'm going to sneak back to my room and let this cool down for a little bit. Give me a perception check. All right. That is a uh, nat one. You are blinded by the light from the tower in the center of the military camp as a bullseye lantern lights your ass up. You hear a screaming, there, over there, over there, and a bunch of pissed off military guys are headed your way. It is time to yep, run. I, I uh, cast invisibility on myself. Fair enough. As an action, and then as a bonus action, I turn into a cave bear and I run off at, I, I dash off. Uh, and what's my movement speed as a cave bear? <coughs> Probably 40 30. feet. So dash, I dash away at 80 feet. Where are you dashing to? You are in front of 342. Uh, 342. Yeah. I want to dash to the right, I guess. Um, okay. The bullseye lantern will follow you. I'm invisible. You, you can't. Oh. You can't dash wild shape and invisibility. So the action is the um, invisibility. Right. I can hold a concentration while I do a wild shape as a right, bonus. But you action. can only use your movement. You've already used your action and bonus. Oh, you can't dash because of the. Okay, so I'll just move forty feet to the right then. So you are an invisible bear. I'm an invisible bear. Yes. Okay. Uh, the military guys are running this way, so you'll still have another round to go ahead and continue to move. Uh, the bullseye lantern will <coughs> dun, 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 Hogan's heroes you, uh, and you will blend in, I suppose. I where is that. your end destination going to be? Um, where people aren't at. I'm going to keep moving around to avoid guards. So you are going to try and find a location in town that is not disturbed by a war elephant crashing through the poker tables. Well, yeah, I thought that was in the uh, plaza area, and I'm, I'm trying to get out of the plaza. Oh, yeah, you, you can get out of the plaza. It's just okay. going to be very loud. So I assume you're going to go to 326? Uh, yeah, or back behind them. If I see the guards are still in front of six because of the incident earlier, I'm I'm going to keep going farther back behind the building then. The, okay, you discover Maniz. Oh, cool. Um, I guess I... You think, are invisible. Yeah, I am invisible, and I see Maniz. Hmm. I'll just keep an eye on him. I'll follow behind him. He is, <laughs> he is going up to three. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep following him. Fair enough. Um, and he's, at what point in time are you just going to give up and hide underneath a cardboard sack? A cardboard sack? That doesn't make sense. I guess they wouldn't have boxes. Refuge for the evening. Um, though he's invisible, I wouldn't. would I hear him coming up behind me? I mean, he is a bear. He's not going to be quiet. Uh, the town seems to be in quite the uproar at this point in time. Okay. Um, I will... Intuition. Can we do an intuition roll? No. Um, I will go. Give me a sec here. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just like keep chilling, hanging okay. out, keeping an eye out, I'll keep trying to stay safe. <laughs> I'll guard him for the next hour while I'm invisible. As Maniz wanders around town, the invisibility drops after an hour. Uh, Maniz, Perception, Lucas, Stealth. Stealth. No whammies. Perception, Perception, 15. Um, I got a nat 20 on the Stealth. Maniz, you're pretty sure somebody's following you, but you can't see them. Uh, Lucas Deception. Um, um, let's see here. That was a, also a nat 20. 
you manage oh. to hide in the crack of a building as guards come running by. Woo! Maniz, this place is crawling with the fuzz. Um, but you are right next door to an inn. I'll go into the inn, look for a room. All the rooms have been spoken for. Lucas, you notice that Maniz has gone into the inn where you guys are staying. Or no, you guys are down south. Actually, Maniz, there is a one room available here. Um, what is the cost on said room? Wait, cost- wait. So, so, so he was headed to the gambling hall where we were all at where the fight was, correct? Right. He's at three two six. Yep. And I thought that was the end. That's, that's our room. end. I thought your end was down south. No, no our end is the one street. above that. That's why I was able to dimension door to it. Maniz, there's no room at the end. <laughs> <laughs> the Ernie has the spare key. Okay. Um, I'll ask if they know where there would be or if there are any rooms available somewhere. Uh, down in the southern section of town, there's a room available, we believe. All right. I'll make my way down there. Okay. Well, before that happens, though, when he steps out of that inn, um, do I see any guards around? Uh, D12 against me. Uh, all right. I rolled a three. Yeah, there's a couple guards here. They're bitching about how that body's going to stink in the pig stunt. Oh, cool. Um, okay, I'm going to revert back to my album form, visible in front of my knees, and be like, what's up, dude? <laughs> I I uh I figure you're trying to look for a room. Uh, we we got one over. Oh, right okay, there. cool. And uh, uh, I guess that saves me that hassle. Yeah, I'll lead him back in. Fair enough. Uh, you guys go into your room. Let's call it a night. Get my spells back. As dawn breaks anew, Taryn and Dewey. Constitution checks, not saves. Constitution checks. Let's see how you like prison gruel. Uh, uh, I can't use that's gonna be seven. Uh, not terrible. <laughs> I felt better than you. That's funny. Uh, 13. Carol likes it better than you. Dewey, give me a d12. I believe I beat him with a con check. Six. 12. It's hentai. It's not a tattoo. Oh. I still break someone's... You mean, you mean hentai? Henna? <laughs> no, no, it's hentai. It's, it's, it's naked. No, it's that hentai. Right. Too. It's a typical <laughs> porn and burn your asshole. Can, can it just be canon that Dewey has a hentai tramp stamp? Like that? <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what, Dewey? You can claim that it is Cthulhu... We all know what your tattoo <laughs> really is. <laughs> and do we multi-classes as a warlock? All right, with a minus two charisma. <laughs> That'll work. Well. Uh, yes, long rest for Lucas, Maniz, uh, Perpetua, Taryn, and Dewey. Yay. Uh, Dewey and Taryn. The guards come on. down. Give us your hands. Oh, they're going to chain me this time? So, so, so is everyone in Dewey's cell dead? How many are you going to kill, Dewey? <laughs> Keep, keeping in mind, you're about to go to trial. Well, no, 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 no. He already said that. He already said that. Don't worry. He, I think he said he was going to break some faces. No, he said everyone in there is dead. Yeah. If I have a tattoo, someone's dead. Yeah, all of them are dead. Oh, you've got a tattoo. <laughs> They're all dead. <laughs> okay. Uh, Dewey, good news. You do not need to put your hands through the bars. The guards are just going to leave you in there. Taryn, put your hands uh, through the box in the bars. Yeah, they are going to chain me. All right. I'm going to go take us all my stuff. You're going to go up. Uh, Dewey, the guards say you... You ain't going yet, so you just sit there and relax with your hentai tramp stamp <laughs> and my pajamas. I will sit here calmly. 
Oh, Lord. Uh, <laughs> Theron, as they take you upstairs, uh, you notice light filtering in, and it seems to be about mid-morning. Uh, you are told to wait on the bench until the judges are present. Do you comply? Don't see why not. Lucas, Maniz, Perpetua, you wake up. Uh, are you still Anastasia? I, I, yeah, I don't. Vander Blow Me or whatever your name is. Yeah, I, I'm in. I'm in my own room. Okay. Uh, did I? Was I aware that there was a trial going on today? Nope. Okay. You didn't care because you were standing in line. I, 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 didn't, I, didn't, I didn't hear. I didn't hear whispers of it from any of the from the cigarette girl or anything. Mm -mm. Okay. Nope. That shit going on. Well, then you got lucky, Karen, because I was going to go testify against you. You dick. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you know, I do need one. <laughs> it probably was a smart move, actually. So, okay, I, 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 I do my beehive all up proper like, and I go back to uh, get ready for the tournament. Uh, you gonna grab breakfast first? Uh, I, sure. Uh, does the does the innkeeper have? There's any a continental food? breakfast available. Uh, would, would an extra 20 gold get me something substantial? He says it's bacon. <laughs> oh, oh I'll, I'll eat long pork. Constitution save. I want some of that. I'll have that too. Uh, Constitution. 13 okay. plus 19. It tastes like pork. Okay. I'm, I, have, I have no... I, I hope it's long paid. Seven. Lucas, it tastes like chicken. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know. It came from the pigsty north of here. <laughs> I know that there's some prime cuts in that. <laughs> the knees, are you eating? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be looking for some uh, breakfast. Constitution. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> what this feeling? Like? Get the shits. We'll just uh, like con. That is a oh, nine. Oh, no, no. If he gets the shits, then we have an immediate escape route. It tastes like chicken as well. Probably like powdery <laughs> old woman chicken. Uh, <laughs> like chicken. I'm a fucking bird. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, eagles, eagles, and falcons eat. Oh yeah, yeah, of course, all the time. So oh, uh, animals don't care. Noting that Anastasia is the only one hidden at this point in time. Lucas and Meniz, do you go outside? Yeah, there's no reason why I should be afraid of going outside. Okay. Meniz? I'll, I'll follow. Dewey, I caught that PM. You guys go outside and there seems to be a rather large crowd headed towards the plaza. I'm keeping an eye out for Bushma at all times. That's fair. Uh, Perpetua, are you headed out? Well, yeah, I got a, I got a tournament to be at. Right. Do you have your token? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you uh, also head out. Are you walking with these two dipshits? Fuck no. Okay. <laughs> As you get to the plaza, you notice that it I, is... I'm, I'm assuming I ate privately in my room for the 20 gold. That's fine. Uh, you show up at the plaza for the contest, but you notice that they are still in the process of getting it cleaned up. Rumor has it that uh, an elephant has caused a great deal of problems. You see Q arguing with the guards. I would like to go and close enough to eavesdrop on that conversation. He points out that his animal was attacked, shows scorch marks on its hindquarters, and completely points out that his animal was obviously provoked and the purveyors of such damage need to be brought to heal. And if he finds them first, he will have no use for the guards after that. I would like to well, chime in that I've heard tales of a bard that can cast lightning from far distances. <laughs> Do you know what this bard looks like? And it begins. I, I give a... a, a Fairly accurate uh, description of Terran. Yeah, except for my <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
Well, she's in jail. That's why I say far distances. She requires only her voice. She is that powerful. Oh, my God. I wish I was that good. Nice. Uh, I want to be that good. I really, really do want to be that good. Lucas and Manise, uh, you find that the entire area is roped off. Not wooden plank, but roped off. Uh, and there is a single entrance. Uh, perpetually, you also notice this. You notice that it is banned by three individuals in flowing robes, almost like clerical robes. And there is an entrance between the ropes where Q steps up and stands in line. You notice that the tiefling is present, as is the silver dragon. Or silver dragonborn. Okay, I uh, I get in line. Okay, Taryn, a halfling plops down next to you on the bench and is also in chains. Which is, is a halfling? Is it Dewey? No, it's not. I'm a gnome. You crap! Oh, it's a short I'm person. It must be Dewey. I can't tell short people apart. <laughs> I'm the one that's normally the halfling. You know what? You are a monster, Taryn. You are a monster. No, just because I had a brain fart, couldn't remember that which, which short race you were. That's right. No, you're the gnome like barbarian. Rock gnome. Rock gnome. So, wow. So the, the halfway Come on. Was Ernie got that. I didn't expect Ernie to get that at all. I don't that, pay attention, but that was in my know, know, episodes, I remember it. <laughs> <laughs> the half lane asks you what you're in for. Uh, Littering. They think I killed. Think, uh, they think, I guess we killed someone? Oh, I, I, I just heard her say she killed Fink. <laughs> yeah, oh, murder. I shall call it murder. So, so the yeah. halfling goes, who'd you kill? Oh, we didn't kill anyone. That's the actual truth. Lord Bushmill. Mm. No, I've never met anyone in jail that's guilty of anything. Uh, except Jesus, because Jesus is always in jail for some dumbass reason. You must, Chris. Hey, hey, he's dead <laughs> in the streets. So yeah, he's dead in the streets. That was Taryn too, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, Taryn, the, Taryn the halfling points out that um, he was arrested because uh, he got into a fight and was defending himself. With who? When? Uh, last night, a uh, bunch of bitches. This guy's a misogynist halfling. Oh, <coughs> wait, was he defending himself from the ladies? With the, um, was it Sucky? What, what was the main? Oh, it was a Medusa, yeah, right? Yeah, the, follow the followers of being the merciless. Oh, you got to, well, I don't know. I've been here all night, so I have no idea what happened outside of here. So who'd you kill? We did not kill anyone. Okay. Oh, you're innocent, just like me. About that time, the guards come up and goes, hey, we're both innocent. We need to get going. You need to let us go. And is soundly punched right in the mouth. I, I don't say anything. Uh, I don't. You got something to oh. say? Not here. I'll take it in courts. Okay, you are led into another room where there are three individuals sitting behind a long table. Uh, you've met Bushmill, haven't you? Uh, well, I did. When we got arrested. We got arrested. Oh, no, I... Bushmill isn't the one that arrested you. Did Actually, we... I thought no, he was. No, uh, Bushmill is, it did not come into contact with Lucas and Manise because we I screwed that one up. But yes, okay. Bush, Bushmill took you into custody. You see your accuser. Uh, the man that you uh, honestly spilled your guts to. So, you know, you're fucked there. Uh, you also see an individual who's dressed as a merchant. Uh, and then the third one is an individual dressed in clerical robes. They guide you she to knows a... Fink. She knows Fink. Oh, you know Fink? Fink is the one that gave her remember, the test I remember, to find I was us. staying here before they all got here. Yeah, I was staying here. So, so you know Bushmill and Fink. You don't know who the cleric is. I don't think I know Bushmill. I think the first time I met Bushmill formerly was outside the mine. Yes, yes. when he arrested you. That's how yes. you know him. So I don't really know. He doesn't yet know that you killed his son. I do not 
until it's done. But there are already rumors wait, circulating. Wait, wait, wait. Does he even know his son is dead? That's a good question. Yes. Oh, yes. Because <laughs> Dewey <laughs> ratted oh, everybody up. Out, but you ratted out Perpetua for that one, not yes. me. So. Correct. So And I'm the one he likes. So, <laughs> Well, until you killed everybody in the cell. Uh, Taryn, they guide you towards a small stool in the center. You still have your chains on. Your halfling friend is sitting in uh, a bench at the back of the room. Sit, please. I do so. State so your name for the record. My name is Taryn Ilya. The when cleric you... stops you. Hang I'm on. Sorry. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> it is much longer. Give give me a wisdom save, please. Oh God. Zone of truth. Zone, zone of truth. That is the truth, by the way. Uh, wisdom save. That's an eleven. Okay. Please continue. All right. So that is the actual truth, by the way. Her real name is actually Terranilia of uh, Lindriel, Montreal. She just goes by Taran for short. Uh, continue. Do you have a question? I gave you the state of my name. I have a lot of questions. Are you in some kind of hurry that we need to know about? Not particularly. But so, I on the aforementioned date and time, the day prior, you told Lord Bushmill that you were in charge of a group of uh, rogues who were responsible for the death of one John A. Trubiani. <laughs> Joey. Joey. Joey Tree, Joey, Joey, a guard. Is that the case? Uh, I was responsible only for putting them together. He's the leader of the group. You heard it. <laughs> <laughs> you will. You will have to Not explain your case at all. God damn. <laughs> now hold on. Let me get the guillotine sharpened. Uh, could you explain that statement, please? Uh, I was hired. I knew there was all that trouble at the mine and basically went out in search of help and found these guys. And the halfling at the back of the room. I have met what the halfling at the back of the room. I don't know who that is. I know the, the, no, the I'm Cola, by the way, thank you very much. Okay. Cola. The gnome that's in the uh, in the prison cell and a couple of others. The others. The gnome. Would that be the foreign gnome? Foreign gnome? Wait. Oh, okay. gnome foreign? Oh. I am foreign, yes. <laughs> he is technically I, foreign. I guess. I mean, I'm foreign, too. I'm from Egypt. I mean, Andorra. So... You were hired to go find this foreign Egyptian Andoran? No, I went to find them because I I met them before and they helped me out of a jam. And they which, were which jam would of, that be? Just out just out of character. Initially you were hired to find us and that's when we helped you out of the jam. Uh no, the the hob what with the hobgoblins? Uh, well, that well, that would have been your you initial. Were, you, were, you were coming to seek adventurers on behalf of Fink yeah. initially, correct? Yeah, well, wait, the Hobgoblins are this town. I bet no, you no, got no, that's, 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 that's a different town. When, you, when we met you in chains, you were trying to ask the Hobgoblins for help at Fink's mind. <laughs> uh, that, no, oh, you're talking about, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I got it. <laughs> right, right. No, I, no, I ran, all right, fine. I'll, Go backtrack a little bit. No, I ran into them, and I remembered them from a certain other thing. What other and thing would that they be? They were very capable, and they seemed to be, you know, like they could actually help at the mine. What other so, thing did you meet them at? I was really going to do this, aren't you? Um, <laughs> out of game, out of uh, what did I mean? I met them at Simon's Hollow. <laughs> I'm going to, hey. I believe we have a couple of villagers outside. Right, we can deal with that. I can deal with that later. Deal with with them later. Perhaps we should deal with what we're... (laughs) 
So I, I guess you met them outside of Simon's Hollow or inside of Simon's Hollow? Inside of Simon's Hollow. Yeah. Am I compelled to that's, tell that's, you? That's, that's, that's not the truth. It, I was inside of Simon's Hollow. No, no, when you were in chains, we were outside of Simon's Hollow. No, 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 when I hired you. Assume what the question was. The, when, did the, meet, when did you meet us? You met the, us. The first time Hall. you met them, you were in chains. Taryn, you should have killed everyone in your cell. <laughs> and you <wouldn't> have to <laughs> <be doing this. laughs> but it's not helping, guys. Let me do this on my own, damn it. Yes, I agree. Very <laughs> yeah, much I can dig my own grave. Okay, so. No, I was it. No, that's going to say, what does all this have to do with this case? Can we focus on this case? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I did not realize you were the judicial robes. You will answer the questions as given, please. So far, they seem very straightforward and not antagonistic. They yeah. appear to be trying to Everyone get... Everyone in the crowd that's antagonistic. <laughs> yes. but, uh, uh, the guards have started to bring in several people whom you recognize from Simon's Hollow. And you hear a low whistle from the halfling. Do the Simon's Hollow people recognize Taryn? Oh, I'm sure they do. Well, yeah, <laughs> she, yeah, she, she was trying to plead, their, they, plead her case that, to them at some point. That's what I mean. There's honestly no point in lying here. With okay? the zone of truth up, you're absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking you, am I? Did I fail the save? Am I compelled to tell the truth? You're compelled to tell the truth. All right. 11 is way low. I probably, I would, I would anyways. Um, that's kind of how I roll. Stop. Uh, Perpetua, as you make your way towards the entrance, you notice that the guards are asking for magic items or items that would be commonly used as cheating. You notice <laughs> that one of the robed figures also possesses a rather large gemstone. Okay. And every Kill once in a while... Kill it to save the dog. Kill it to save the dog. Every once in a while, he scans the crowd with it. Okay. That's fine. We've already established that a gem of seeing doesn't affect me. Actually, we have not. <laughs> yes, we... Yes, no, we have. As a changeling. Yes, as the changeling, we, we've established that the gem of seeing does not affect me. The... Cool. Hang on a second. Because we've we've done we've done that one before. I can I'm 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 by, I am not I am not disguised by magical means. Correct. However, because I was curious about that. We it, we, we, we already says, did it, Frank. We already and, did it. Yeah, but we have new much like Taryn, we have new evidence. But no, um, but um, it was um, but that wasn't the case last time we had a gem of seeing because there was a gem of seeing in Lady Torvald's manner. There's also gem of seeing in. Oh yeah, and the and the and the, and the, uh, and, and the what and the what's his name the the hobgoblin. There you go. So anyway, uh, the gem of seeing is not upon you at this time. They ask if you have any items with you. Uh, I present just my token. They cast something, and uh, there is a glow from your body. What magic items do you possess, kind lady? Uh, okay, well, since they were asking only about things for cheating, I will present my dagger of returning. Okay. They will ask your name and put it in a box with your name on it. You also have Anastasia Beaverhausen. Mm -hmm. What else do you have? Uh, oh, geez, let's see here. Uh, you're really going to make me go through my whole manifest. Um, no, actually, I need the box. Oh, okay. Uh, I will give up the box. They put it in the box with your dagger of returning. I have a chunk of a statue that had Eptal inscribed upon it that glows faintly blue. Yeah, that, that wasn't magic, though, so it, it'll go away. Uh, is, what about the French horn? The French horn? Oh, oh, yes, the French horn gets to come. Okay. <laughs> Uh, well, well, no, I would have left all of that in my room. The only thing I would have taken to my, the only thing I would have taken with me would have been the box and my weapons. And and do and, and lady and and I would I would still be wearing Lady Torvald's pendant. 
That was not magical, though, correct? That it was not was, the. It was, it was controlling the undead, but it it went inert on her death. Fair enough. You can keep it. Okay, and uh, the cursed pendant of from the gnome. That goes in the box. Okay. And there's also the amulet of dark vision that I gave you. Uh, I. Oh, I didn't know that I got that. I didn't need that. He has the I player's wouldn't. handbook, pages 85 through 92. But, uh, <laughs> it's be a pile. I, also ha- I also have a puzzle box. The puzzle box is not magical. Okay. But, I, well, no, that would have been in my room. So the, the, I, would, I would, on me right now at this particular the moment. The box, the amulet, and the dagger. I would, I would, I would have the box, the, my, yeah, my, my necklaces, and my dagger. And the name you want it under is? Anastasia Beaverhausen. You are at table seven. Okay. Move in. Yep. Okay. Uh, Manise, Lucas, you notice Anastasia has gone into the ring. Uh, She seems to be getting prepared for table seven. What would you guys like to do? Well, I figured since... Most of the guards are probably right now watching the tournament since it's so important. Um, Maybe the uh, jail cells will be uh, on a skeleton crew. So I may want to go check that out with uh, Maniz. Possibly. Maniz, would you like to go with him? Most certainly. Fair enough. You can go into the magistrate's office. Uh, However, there is a line of people uh, that you recognize ahead of you. No, I... Mm, I was thinking about actually turning into <laughs> a bear. Yeah, that's a great idea. What? Why not? <laughs> These, what are you going to turn into? <laughs> Dust. <laughs> While I run away. I turn into something else. I do have polymorph. <laughs> what do you want to turn into, Manise? Well, I can't turn into anything. I can turn you into whatever you want. I have polymorph. Oh, maybe not a bird dude? You know, so I can blend in a little bit easier. Do you you want to turn into uh, a little human midget? Oh, 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 I got an idea. Turn me into essentially a twin of Dewey Docamel. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to polymorph uh, Maniz into uh, Dewey Docimal, and uh, that, this will last up to an hour under concentration, and I will, uh, I will walk behind Maniz as he goes in, and I, I just won't enter. I'll just wait for Maniz to go in. <laughs> 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 oh <God>. Wow. <laughs> This is gonna be so bad. This is gonna be fun. I need to come. Hey, I'm screwing this up, man. But ease as you walk in, you notice a copper-colored individual, a female that you saw at Fink's office the day before. Her dark eyes look over and tend to focus upon you. Can I help you? Have we met? Nope. <laughs> off off camera. Has she met him? <laughs> I can't remember. I know oh, I shot in her. You you've met before. <laughs> nope. I, I do have a twin brother, so maybe that's who you're thinking of. I believe he is a guest downstairs. What's downstairs? The jail. Oh, yeah, that would make sense. Yeah. I barge in right now and I say, oh no, the rock gnome that murdered everyone escaped. Oh, and then I point at Maniz like, oh, there he is. <laughs> uh, do I roll persuasion? Sure, go ahead. <laughs> um, what do I get on this? I rolled a five. <laughs> <laughs> Two guards grab you and lead you into the room where Taryn, a halfling, and uh, a no, group. No, no. I missed a- you step out of there, man. <laughs> <laughs> Manise, 
Manise, your associate just left you high and dry. <laughs> if he if he missed his step, then the spell would end and I would come back yep. to me. And my you are now a bird person again because I, I lost concentration when I did misty step. The... You don't lose concentration with a misty step. You don't? No. I it's... thought because it's another spell. As long as it's another concentration yeah, spell, it's, it's, you it's lose the last effect. one. Oh, yeah. perfect. Well, then I guess Maniz is still a, a, a Dewey. Unless you drop it. That's up to you, though. No, no, no. I'm not dropping it yet. <laughs> the copper-colored woman looks at you, Maniz, and goes, Would you like to see your twin? Sure. The two guards that were going to grab Lucas come up behind you. One gets in front of you. One stays behind you and goes right this way, my lord. Not a lord, sir. Do you follow them? Yep. The copper colored lady does not leave. You are led down to the stinking shithole cells where Terran and Dewey have been residing, and you come upon a strange sight. Dewey is holding a, a shiv made from bones of the people, <laughs> two shivs of the people that he has killed. The guards go, your brother? And you feel a sharp point in the back. I feel a sharp. What did I do? <laughs> Nothing. This is far enough, says the guard in front. Say your ah. piece. Yeah. So I got a guard in front of me, a guard behind me, a knife to my back. <laughs> yes. Hmm. And if you look like precaution. you're going to tattoo me, I'm going to stab you. I'm not going to tattoo you. I'm just saying right now. <laughs> I might stab you, but I'm definitely not going <laughs> to. Hmm, what do I got? What do I got? Prison is hardened, Dewey. <laughs> Frank, did you see my message? Uh huh. What's this spell do? No, let's not do that spell. Please, <laughs> you feel the point push into you a little bit deeper. All right, I'm going to turn around and cast Inflicting Wounds while I touch the guy holding the knife at my back, trying to stab me. As you reach out... Oh, he's not trying to stab you. He's just poking you. As you reach out to do Inflict Wounds, you notice that you're covered in feathers. You are no longer Dewey. Uh. Now, I was about to stab him when he turned around. Would I there, there, notice there's that? A, there's, a di- there's a distance. Okay. Okay. You're, you're, you're in luck. Gonna, you're you're going to feel a bump on the head here in a second. So go ahead and do inflict wounds. Now, you do know I meant Manise, right? Mm-hmm. He's That's, a gnome uh, who could have been part of the, what, the angry derogenist pact? Yes. Whatever That's it's called. 24 to okay. Oh, yeah, you, you hit the guard. How much damage? Let's see. That'd be 20 necrotic damage. Oh, yeah, that guard dies. Just yeah. fucking drops, withers into dust. The guard behind you. Uh, 15 plus 4, 19. Ah, oh, just hits. Uh, he does 7 damage. Okay. As he conks you on the head with the hilt of his sword. Dewey, wow. uh, you notice that <laughs> he's is fighting. Uh, initiative, Manis. Aw. Ten. Did the dead guard collapse Seven. close enough to the gate? No. No, he's about 15 feet away from you. God damn it. Seven? You didn't even beat me on initiative? Wow, you suck. He never does. Uh, you hear the guard yell out, screaming for help. 
18 plus 422 stabs you for six more. You hear a door slam. So either the guards are coming down or you're locked in. You, it's your turn. Uh, da, 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 da. I will cast Guiding Bolt on said guard. And that'll be 18 to hit. Easily hits. And that'll be 11 uh, force damage. Still alive. Initiative. 17 and plus 320. 15. And he has, and I have advantage on my next attack. So I'm not at disadvantage? No, no, no. I just have advantage. Okay. 14 plus 418. Uh, that's a tie, so it hits, I assume. Yep. Who max damage. 12 this time. Okay. Still up? Yes. All you got to do is hit him. He only has one hit point. Ay, 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 ay. All right. Let's go with uh, Guiding Bolt again. Ooh, that's a modified 20. Oh, yeah. He's down. And, yeah. That'll be uh, 12, 17, 18 damage. Blue smoke starts to fill the stairwell. Moving back to the uh, poker tournament. Uh, Perpetua, here is how we're going to do this. In order to get out of the first round, go ahead and give me four D20s and give me your total, please. Does, does you mean get out of or win? Win. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 19, uh -oh. 17, 11, and 2. Uh, two, three, eighteen, and seventeen. Okay. And um, you are out of the first round. No, uh, no, I'm, I, well, I won the first round. Correct. Okay. You, you have made it out of the first round. I'm okay. sorry. Uh, Q has made it out of the first round as well. He's at table two. Round. What, what, what table? What table am I progressing to? Uh, you are on. Uh, six through ten. Okay. On one through five. Okay. Uh, next round, the top two win. So, give me four more rolls. Thirteen, eighteen, eighteen, and, and nine. Uh, tally that up for me because this is going to be close. Uh, thirty-six is two times eighteen. Uh, thirteen makes it fifty-one. And nine makes it 60. Uh, you have made it in as a uh, seed. Uh, Taryn, back to you. Uh, actually, hold on. Lucas. Okay, you're running around. What do you want to do? Um, yeah. Am I out of sight of, of people now? Oh, uh, no. You're right in the middle of the fucking plaza. Oh, uh, because I just went out of the magistrate's office. Correct. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I want to go left and circle back behind the 342 towards the new gate construction area. Awesome. Uh, that's going to take you right past the war elephant. Oh, the world <laughs> doesn't recognize me, right? Roll against him. Roll a d20. Alrighty. Or the Seven. Seventeen. The war elephant seems to recognize you. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Wait, is this war elephant afraid of mice, by chance? Would you like to polymorph yourself into a mouse? No, no, that sounds like a waste of wild shape if it doesn't work. I'd just get trampled. But, hmm. Uh, so, it, is the elephant tied up within range? Is it trying to attack me? It. You sense that it recognizes you. Cool. So I'm not going to go close to it again. Then I'll circle around the other way. Um, okay. From three, four, two. Instead of the new gate construction, I take the the right alley back behind the buildings. Gotcha, Taryn. Yeah. The cleric points out that he is confused. About. 
Good. So, Mr. Fink has pointed out that you were sent out to find adventurers of adventuring ilk to help us with the mining problem. Is that the case? Yes. Did you find adventurers for this task? Yes. Is one of the adventurers in the jail below? Mm, yes. Where are the others that you found? I have no idea. I haven't, I've been in jail, so I have no idea where they're at. A large commotion occurs behind you, <laughs> causing everybody to turn and look, and the three lords send more guards to the back. Lord Bushmill unsheathes the sword and puts it on the table in front of him. He asks, when was the first time you came into contact with these adventurers? Since I got to tell the truth, um, I was, God. At the chasm. I put a piece back here where we was. Um, well, when I was in the custody of a bunch of hobgoblins. Custody. Yeah, I don't know why I was picked up. I didn't do anything wrong. So you say. You have a bad history with Oh, them. well, I'm telling the truth. No, actually, remember, she's in zone of truth, so that is the truth. She didn't do anything. So were you the only one these hobgoblins uh, took possession of? At this moment in time, a hobgoblin at the back of the room screams out, Murderer, you killed my husband. I did not kill your husband. Keep in mind, I'm under a spell, so I'm... But Sharon, so did you clear me? Some of those hobgoblins with us? <laughs> huh? I thought you you did kill some of the hobgoblins, though. Actually, no, I didn't. Actually, she, no, she was I hiding didn't. underneath the uh, cart. I, uh, the, oh. I cast Bane. I healed you guys. I did shoot one, but I didn't kill it. That's the only thing I did. I think I, I think I cast or I cast one spell. And it didn't do a lot of damage. I actually technically did not kill any of the hobgoblins. She is telling so, the truth. <laughs> cool. All right. Yeah. It was all you guys. It was especially the Dewey person. Hey, what? Downstairs in the prison? That's who no, was that was, out of, that was an out-of-game comment. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> trying to throw me under the bus. No. I never threw you under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> you threw her under the bus so much he could follow the tread marks. Hey, 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 hey. Never <laughs> in game. Carol, uh, that other one? Mr. Fink orders the hobgoblin female out because obviously she's hysterical. That's what females do. They get crazy. He orders her out. He is also a pig. Uh, the cleric says, please continue. All right, so, so uh, what do you want to know next? I think I answered that question. So that, so when you were in the custody of these hobgoblins, that is when you first met these individuals? Yes, yes. Did they kill the hobgoblins? Yes, but I will go with... You don't know for sure. I did not. I no, did not do a I start, I start. No. Oh, but I'm also contending it was self-defense. The hobgoblins threatened to kill one of them. And ripped their dog in half. <laughs> no, that was a dog. <laughs> dog. But I do remember you snuck off, Lucas. You all right, so the druid snuck off, went invisible and dis and snuck off. And it never stung for the rest of the fight. So as far as I know, he was just afraid of taking on that many hobgoblins or dealing with them. And the hobgoblins. Most well, that, of no, that's, that's, that's right. That was the fight where I levitated the cow. Yeah. Right. Uh, oh, poor cow. <laughs> Flew it up over everyone. Yeah. Manise, uh, Dewey, constitution saves, please. The smoke is filling the chamber. Oh, that's a 12. That is a 14. Dewey, you are unaffected. Manise, you are choking and coughing. Take four hit points. Oh, I'm out. <laughs> oh, no. Your only chance get... to escape, Dewey. Uh, Lucas. 
Yes. Shit's getting real. A lot of people have seen you run out. What do you want to do? Uh, so I'm behind the magistrate's office now, right? Correct. Do I see any like bars or anything, even like a tiny cell down to the underground prisons? Mm-mm. So no gaps whatsoever. Because yeah, see- the magistrate's office is four. You have two businesses there that uh, are going to block you. Oh, well, then I definitely want to climb up on top of the, the buildings here, if possible, and then try and see if I can get to that little courtyard that I'm seeing, see if I see any windows down to the underground cells. Give me a dex check. All right. And that is a modified 21. Fair enough. You climb up to the roof. Uh, the businesses are closed. They're here to watch the poker tournament. Uh, as you get up onto the roof, let's do. Uh, let's do a performance check. All right. Uh, performance. Wait, charisma. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I rolled a nine. Yeah, you crash through the business in front of the four. Wait, why? 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 I just don't understand why a performance check is needed for me walking on rooftops. Uh, the roof isn't very solid. I do acrobatics. Yeah. Why isn't it acrobatics? Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not like. I, I can give you acrobatics. Things. I'm fine yeah. with that. Okay. So, you gave up, Frank. You should have kept it at I, athletics. I a plus three, so I would have gotten a twelve with that. With- yeah, a 12, a 12 is still not going to do it. Okay, that's fine. So you crash into the building. Uh, there's nobody here. Cool. Um, is there this a, ba- is a back tailor door? shop? Is there a back door into the courtyard then from this building? No, because you were the one directly below the four. If you crash through the one next to it, yes. Okay. Well, then I'm going to mend the roof. I'm going to fix all that shit. And then. Um, I'm going to listen to the wall to the building next door to see if I hear people. Nothing. Nothing. Um, then I'm going to, uh, hmm. Oh, fuck. I have an idea. Oh, I have gaseous form. So I can occupy space. So with gaseous form, I can pretty much pass through any openings. So... Do I see any openings at all? I mean, it's a solid wall, probably, to the next business. It's a solid wall, but I'm sure there's a crack somewhere in the roof. The cool. Ceiling then, area. I'm going to um, cast Gaseous Form on myself. Okay. And I'm going to try and get back to that courtyard. Oh, piece of cake. Yeah. Now, do I see an entrance down into the cells? No. As What color cloud are you? Color? Yeah. Uh, Pick one. Know. You're fine. Probably, probably green, like a dull green. Fair enough. Uh, the green cloud passes through a small gap into the ceiling area uh, and then out into the courtyard. Uh, Maniz, you're unconscious. Dewey, uh, you can't reach fucking bird brain. You are still screwed. Uh, do we D12 against me? Uh, Eight. Can I hear you again? Anybody hear what he said? Twelve. Twelve? Okay. Nobody's coming. Uh, Taryn, back to you. Yes. The next question I have for you is, was there anybody else present? Wait, which point are we talking here? Sorry, can't... At the time, uh, the adventurers were fighting off the hobgoblins. Is there anybody present? I think just us. Well, how many people were there? It was just the just us. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> the halfling points and goes, what the hell is that thing? You look behind the panel of three where there is a window and a green cloud descends into the courtyard behind it. <laughs> um, looks like shenanigans to me. Two guards are ordered out. <coughs> Answer the question, please. Well, uh, which question? He, he's he's asking about the ones that aren't in the courtroom. 
Oh, in the courtroom, who was there? Yeah. yeah. As far as I know, what there's only me. I mean, as far as I know, it was me, the fellow, my fellow adventures, and the hobgoblins. I don't think there's any of them here, other than me. Was there a fat individual? Oh, yes. The reason why I was picked up was because he mouthed off to the hobgoblins. I just happened to be there. Uh, I look at him. says, what happened to him? I don't know. The last time I saw him, he was alive. Uh, I ended up going off with um, the Arabroka. <clears throat> and he was alive when I saw him. I believe that's true. That, that is, that is. It is true because I, I said, I, I remember I wasn't there for that session, but I remember I had already yeah, left. No, no, we, we, we woke up with Manise taking him, taking, taking her off. Yeah, yeah. So, so let's, let's go with the death of uh, Private First Class Tribbiani. What happened there? I don't know much about that either. I just remember he walked in. And he talked to us and mentioned he was going to get Lord Mid Bushmill, and say like congratulations on. I believe he said congratulations on you know taking care of the problem. I was busy playing a song of rest to try to help the wounded recover. Um, and shortly after he left, um, remember Perpetual left. There was a minor that left. It was a minor. Oh yeah, that's right. There was a minor that left. Then right after that, Perpetua left. No, I was the minor. And, oh, yeah, that's right. You, I totally forget. You were a minor. Damn it. A minor, not a minor. Shut up. I'm from New England. Get over it. Uh, a minor, okay? Minor. Uh, uh, no. A Going minor. to the bar later? But Blake also is thank you for the Find reminder. the khakis. A, yeah, a minor left shortly after uh, he did. Then a bit after that, uh, uh, they are Croca. I, I guess I know their names. I probably just, the Manise and uh, Lucas, the Druid. They they went out after that, and I stayed behind with Dewey. And we basically took notes about the uh, monolith that we blew up that was controlled the miners. We, we blew up. We, yeah, we, well, we all did it together. I mean, I put a big dent in it. So you you stand, credit for it. your stance is that you did not kill no. Tribbiani. No, when we left, he was already dead. What about your... We found his body. What? The what, 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 copper color woman walks up, leans over the table and discusses with the three uh, members of the panel. Fasten her to the bull ring. There's, a bull ring. There's a bull ring between your legs into the floor. Two guards come over, move your chains and fasten you there. Lord Bushman yeah. says, we are going to come to a recess. We will be right back. Bum, bum, only bum, only bum, Lord Bushmill bum, leaves. Bum, 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 Mr. Fink bum, bum, and the cleric bum, 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 stand by shuffling papers, waiting bum, bum, patiently, bum, bum, although they look bum, pensive. Dewey, D12 against me. Eight again. Clear. Three. Uh, you hear the door open. The copper-colored female enters through the blue smoke, looks at you, looks at my knees, drags Can me. I have, uh, what? Hide the shivs. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. Drags my knees, puts my knees in with the females where Taryn was, looks at you again, looks at the bodies, shuts the door and goes back upstairs. Bye. How's it going? Okay. Back up to the game. Perpetua. 
you've passed through two levels, correct? Uh, yes. Uh, 19, 16, uh, 35, 13, and 8. Oh, yeah, easily. Easily. Okay. 1, 3, 11, and 20. Okay. You've made it to the final four, including okay. Q. Okay. So... Q squares off with you, looks at you from across the table. Waits patiently. Drink the elephant. We need the elephant. There is a tiefling. The, this, the, the one that I'm familiar with? Uh-huh. Okay. And a human. That I'm unfamiliar with. That you are unfamiliar with. I've learned the tales of the tiefling from my first interaction. Correct. Okay. You thought you knew the, t the tells of Q. Well, no, but, I didn't notice but then you came. then you came to the conclusion that he's probably throwing it. Yeah. The human you have not met at all. Okay. So, for purposes of this, Taryn, you are the human. You will roll four D20s. Oh, Dewey, okay. you are I Q. You will roll four D20s. Okay. Perpetua. You will roll four d20s. Each of the three of you will send me in chat what your results are, please. Private, right? Privately. Yeah, to everyone. All right, so four. Uh, is it a grand total of all four? Or is it each one individually? Nope, all four. Total them up. Total it up, okay. Uh, no, perpetual, you cannot. You are under observation. Well, if I can't cheat, then what's the point of all the observation? <laughs> that is that is why they are observing you. Well, no, I mean, why was the what was the point of the scouting? You wanted to do it, <laughs> <laughs> right? So I should so I should get like advantage or something on a deception check. Uh, they have a gem of seeing. You would consider that problematic at best. Well, not not for this. Well, not not. Wow! For not observing. <laughs> wow! The results are in. After a full day of poker, the tiefling got an eighteen. Wow! Oh! Perpetua. Wow. Got a 62. Oh, Jesus. The human got a 41. And Q got a 48. Yay. Perpetua is declared the winner. Anastasia Beaverhausen. That's right. <laughs> Meanwhile, Taryn... Lord Bushmill has returned, puts <clears throat> his sword back on there. Lucas, in your gaseous form, you notice two guards step out into the courtyard. Go ahead and give me an insight check to see if you notice there's a window. Uh, all right. What do we get? Four. Yeah, I rolled a two threes, a one, and an 11 for the tiefling. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That was That's horrible. So, so I was 19. Uh, yes, you notice that there are. Oh, that is. <clears throat> Holy crap. Where the hell's the one? Oh, the one's way over here. <laughs> um, you notice that there's a window, and there seems to be a judicial panel 
just inside the window, and you also see Perpetual, or I'm sorry, Terran in there. You see Lord Bushmill with a sword. When do you, when does your uh, gaseous form it's relieve itself? It's up to an hour. So there, do I see any other gaps in the ground, like to let light into the bottom cells underground? No, there is no light uh, going into the bottom cells. There is a gap uh, where you can make it into the trial room. Nah, fuck that. That sounds like <laughs> There's probably a gap in there that leads down. Because all the, guard, the guards are coming out. It's probably smart to go in. Yeah. Uh. Hey, I'm, I think I'm hey, going to take a risk. Using, risk. Uh, there we go. Wow. Wow. And I'm, uh, I've yeah. been drinking the whole time. Oh, or you can just elevate off into the breeze and leave. No, no, no. I don't want to fly away. I, I'm trying to stay down here where the wind isn't going to fuck me up. Um, <laughs> I, I would imagine you would have control over yourself. It's not like I'm going to blow you into pieces. Oh, that That's Anastasia's great. problem. No, no, no. Gaseous form is affected by wind. Yeah. So I try to avoid strong wind. Um, so literally no gaps except into that trial room that I can see into the magistrate. Or into room two, the tavern. Oh, into the tavern. Do I see anyone in the tavern or is everyone watching the tournament? Everyone's watching the tournament. Oh, man. I'll but a loud applause goes off. I, I want to float into the tavern and uh, maybe go up into the, the attic of the tavern. Fair enough. Uh, give me a stealth. Stealth. All right. That is a nine. Do people see me as I float into the tavern? No, they do not. There is no one up there. Oh, well, that's fine. But the guards see me go in there, right? Yes. <laughs> cool. Um, so I'm in this tavern. Correct. Uh, in the attic. In the attic. Now, are there any... Can I somehow float into the attic of the magistrate now? Uh, no, there is no attic to the magistrate's office. Oh, there's no top part or second floor even? First floor and subfloor, the dungeon. Ah, damn. You're making this rough, so I can't float in there. You're lucky I haven't killed all you fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, then, uh, out of the attic, do I see any gaps, say, like, cat size out of the attic? Oh, yeah, you can get out into the plaza. Maniz, uh, Dewey, can you heal him? Can I heal Maniz? Yeah. Uh, not, without his, not without his equipment. Yeah, I was going to say I have absolutely uh, nothing. Do you have silk pajamas you can bandage him up with? Maniz, These you're are in my zero. good you're silk pajamas. You're in soaked pajamas. You're in soaked snot. What about all the dead bodies around you? I'm sure there's cloth. Oh, oh, no, I'm like, I'm sure there's plenty of urine is sterile. That's why I drink it. Yeah. And you and like, I the, like taste. the taste. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for quoting that, guys. I've been wanting to hear it all night. So, Lucas, are you going to stay in the tavern or go outside? Well, um, since there's a cat size opening, I'm going to change from gaseous form into a cat. And uh, I'm going to wander onto the rooftops of the buildings. Fair acting enough. like a nonchalant cat. cat. Fair enough. Uh, let's return to the courtroom. <laughs> Can I uh, real quick stack bodies? Sure. That way I have a human wall of flesh in case they try to kill me. Sure. So you're you. doing it in front of the door? Not in front of the door, but, you know, in the middle of the room. So if I see them coming down with crossbows... I can hide behind the bodies and make them come after me. Oh my God. Me in the middle of the room. Oh. Yeah, you can do that. Hey, to quote the bodies game, pot high. Dead bards, huh? uh, the ladies in the cell with Maniz start to come too. Uh, they were just disabled. Passed out. <laughs> yeah, they, they were not injured. Uh, and they're wondering why there's a bird in here. They look at you and they wonder why everybody's dead. Can you pull out the 
15th feather on his wings on each side. What a dick. <laughs> <laughs> my knees, That'll wake knees, him up real quick. My knees D12 against me, please. Is that considered oh, no. damage? 11. <laughs> Six. Yeah, you ain't got to fly for a while. <laughs> Oh, no. What a dick. Uh, is, is that considered damage? Are those failed? Yeah, I, I'm not going to do damage okay, on okay. it. I just pulled out two feathers. What a dick. <laughs> uh, 10 o'clock. Uh, real quick on Taryn. Yeah. Can we finish this? I mean, I'm not going to I basically tell him we didn't kill him. Is there anything else? Did your associate kill him? I don't know. I didn't see. We came out and we saw the dead body. He means Dewey. What? He means Dewey. And th and that's still a truthful answer. Uh, yeah, I yeah, know. Oh, you know, Dewey didn't kill him. I think I said that already. Actually, that Dewey had not, that we did not kill him. So who left the mines before you? Um. All right, so I, all, I all, for all three of us. You were the last two to leave. Yeah. We were last, yeah, we were last to leave. So everybody. What a mystery. I so want to freaking implicate Perpetua. You have no idea. I want to freaking revenge. But but I would I heard that I heard that you lightning bolted an elephant. <laughs> I, can, I can deal with that too. Um, no, that's not how, that's not how, that's not Taryn style. She wouldn't do that. Uh, so yeah, no, I don't know. I mean, he was dead before we got there. So and everybody pretty much left before we plus, did. Plus all of the military. Well, the military was outside, so. Well, yeah, but they were also all there. True. Taryn, D12 against me, please. Thank God. Oh, no, that's terrible. That's only a two. That's too bad. <laughs> hey, 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 just remember, it was all under a zone of truth. So everything I said was the truth. He doesn't know if you passed or not. I mean, everything I said was the truth. It had to be the truth. I. He assumes it was the truth. We are yep. going to hold you over. No, 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 no. Pending further. Damn it. Because it's 10 o'clock. Because it's 10 o'clock. And your mm -hmm. other associate has killed everybody in the fucking cell. Hey, hey, hey. Cell. And you're going to hold me for that? You're the leader of the group. You were. Yeah, you, were you took associate. credit for you, everything. You, you did admit to you did admit you're recruiting him. <laughs> I remember Taryn whispering in the bars. Kill everyone. <laughs> kill, kill, kill. Uh, once, they're, once they're dead, you'll truly be free. <laughs> you know, I have two more levels to get through and curse Estrad, and then I can revisit. Folks, uh, it is 10.05. Uh, normally, we go a little bit longer with the campaign, but seeing how everything is in complete fucking disarray. <laughs> I think now is a good time to hold it off. Hang on, how DM much were has no how idea much where to go. <laughs> you won 1,000 gold pieces. However, they need to speak with you. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Boom. And you notice... I, I, I'm, I'm sure it's just that I have to fill out a 1099. It's, it's... Yes, that's, what, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> As the one flicks around his gemstone. They are going to have questions for you. Um, and they only asked me about things that were that were deceptions for cheating, so... Oh, yeah. No, it's... Uh, <coughs> they... Uh, there seems to be a general consensus on the chat that you're fucked <laughs> on the on the gem of scene. Um, I, I still don't agree with it, but that's just because I didn't look at the, en at the enemy stats, so if I pull up the enemy stats, then yeah, I agree. Okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and let the campaign well, continue. Wait, real quick, while this is all happening, Dewey is also going to take the intestines and sinew from the bodies. 
and start making a little crossbow. You used to give me so much shit for collecting intestines. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm so kidding, much- Frank. Oh my god, there's so many. Who <laughs> is a hero? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck all of you guys. None of you are heroes. Taryn, maybe. But Taryn's the only one on trial right now. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that ironic? And and um, and it just keeps getting piled more. Now, apparently, I also fucked with the damn elephant. The okay, just- so, so let's go ahead and do uh, final thoughts. We'll start with uh, Taryn. What do you think, Carol? Oh, God. Actually, I'm having an absolute blast. Um, this scene to be i've mentioned it to them that this seems to actually be the way this character seems to go that allegations do seem to rack up against her i'm not really sure why um because we all hate you that's why that's that's why they always rack up against her that that she does have a backstory with something in it that could potentially come back to haunt me uh yeah just like doing so, but no it was absolute blast and of course i want to say everybody uh wish everybody happy holidays merry christmas happy hanukkah happy kwanzaa joyous yule i don't know I, 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 am i forgetting anything I, festivus. There's, there's a festivus for the rest of us festivus the festivus nice uh blake final thoughts it's not illegal to be a changeling god damn it attica attica <laughs> Kyle, final thoughts. I don't know. There's real no fault. Gattaca, Gattaca. <laughs> it was a great I movie. I still love Uma Thurman. Her hey, hey, do you know her, how he always swam farther hard. than his perfect brother? Because he never you're, wanted to you're swim arguing back. arguing with somebody who's not on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Chris, that's why final Gattaca's thoughts. the best. <laughs> um... I didn't die, kind of. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. Knocked out and well, no, can't next time, fly right? again. <laughs> and gas in jail too. So gas passer Ernie. Final thoughts. Oh man, this is great. I'm enjoying my time as a cat right now. I'm batting around my tail, just keeping uh, a nonchalant eye out on the plaza. The war elephant eats cats for a living. Uh, <laughs> I knew it was a on the like roof. Her. Uh, but I realized I made a mistake now that, you know, the magistrate's office knows my face when I barged in there and, like, pointed at Dewey. So At uh, least you dropped the polymorph on my knees. <laughs> yeah. have to, uh, so awesome. I, I'm going to have to play it safe the next time. Maybe uh, stay in animal form as much as I can or invisible. I, I fully expect at least one of you to flee Fink without the others. Uh, folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc. Yes. <laughs> uh, folks, uh, we are not having a uh, Between the Rolls this Tuesday because it is Christmas Eve and uh, Fuck that shit. we all have moderate lives a little bit. Uh, we will be doing. We'll be doing a one shot next Saturday. So, you know, if you want a seat and we do have a new player uh, wanting a seat, uh, give us a shout. Let us know. We'll try and get you worked in here. Uh, Other than that, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., like Carol pointed out, happy holidays. We hope uh, you don't have to kill any of your relatives like Dewey would. Uh, (laughs) But, you know, if you do, make uh, crossbows out of it. It was an accident. No one should be swimming in a lake that has ice on it. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Uh, producer, let's end this debacle. I don't and know how that rat rope got right around them. What? Your mother.